Hey, hey. Spring of a Simply Tarot. Okay, air signs. This is, you know, what's the gossip? Spilling my tea. So, yeah, what's the gossip? What's the gossip going around about you? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, what is it? You know, what's that gossip? What's that talk? Well, let's find out. What's the talk about my air signs? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, what's the talk? What's the gossip? Princess of Swords, Ace of Swords, Justice. Tell me. Okay, okay, okay. The talk about you is that, you know, you, you are definitely being truthful. You are definitely um, standing in your truth. You are balancing your life. You are, um, it feels like telling the truth and, and seeing the truth and speaking the truth and standing strong on your own. And that's the talk. People are talking about how you know, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, how you are a strong person, how you have overcome, yeah, you know, with strength, so many obstacles with the devil card, so many, um, it feels like, you know, things that have drawn you towards them, and that's possibly narcissistic relationships. Um, I feel like that the talk about you is that you're working very hard. You're doing your own thing. You know, you have Six of Pentacles. You're balancing your own life. You've moved away from anything, you know, toxic with that devil card. Yeah, tell me. So, the gossip about you is not bad. Nope. Nine of Cups. The gossip about you is that you are... Standing in your truth, you're not making excuses, you're not pretending, you are um, nine of cups, you are very loved as well, you know, and it's like everybody loves you and it's seen and it's being talked about. Um, you've got this leader type mentality, you know, you've done the healing and that's been talked about. Okay, why is this here? Oh my God! You got okay. You have got someone. This is someone totally different. It's you know, a lot of people are gossiping about how you are doing good. You are standing in your truth. You're being truthful. Where in the past you might have not have. Um, you got you. You're doing your thing. You know, you got this wish coming true, starting your new life. But then you got someone who is all in their head, dwelling, talking about how much they love you, how much they care for you, how much they want to be with you, um, but it ended. Yeah, they're talking about it. They're talking about it. But they're also, look at these cards. Don't you see how these are? Look at that. Look. They're talking about how um, there was something about some loss of money or something. And they're talking about it. They're talking about it. You know, um, whoever this is, I don't get a good feeling from them. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's a feeling like um, they feel like, oh, they put in this work, this effort. It's like they're, they're, they're speaking that they love you, but things have ended. But they're acting like, oh, they put in all the effort. They put in all the work. They put in all of the funds. And it's like putting it out there like you did nothing. You know, we got the Empress here. Okay, this person is talking to someone, possibly a mother figure, uh, possibly a woman, older. Um, and they're not speaking good. They're not speaking highly of you. Um, but at the same time, they're, they're telling this person that they really love you, they care about you. Could be dealing with a water sign. There's the moon card came out. Um, yeah, this person, they're all in a bunch of confusion. 
They are. I feel like that they may have cheated on you. They may have um, put you in a third party situation. Now, if it wasn't cheating, it could have been a third party situation with this um, mother figure. It doesn't have to have been a mother, though. Um, but it's like, you know, weighing, you know, putting you in that position. And it's like now they're all in their head, they're thinking. See, all in their head, thinking constantly about what are the ways and how can they, you know, possibly get you back, even though their intentions does not feel good. See, look, no, it doesn't feel good. Five of Wands feels like they've ca caused uh, havoc in your life before and they'll do it again. You're on guard about this person. You are. Uh, whoever this is, you've put, you've ended it with that death card and you're on guard about them and it, from what this looks like I'd stay that way so you know staying on guard does not seem like a bad thing that's what I've got for you till next time bye